Hello everybody, today is day 10 of make a video and two hour challenge and today I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make a script uh, that uh, takes command line arguments and prints those arguments to the screen. It's a simple hello, first name, last name. So let's get started. I have the script here called greetings, them, greetings, okay. And first thing I need to do is locate bash. So I'm going to go ahead and run the command read. Uh, and then exclamation mark, where is bash? And it will print the results of that command to the screen. I'm going to go ahead and delete, oh, undo. I'm going to go ahead and delete the first word. That was D, capital I, capital W. I'm going to put myself in insert mode. Um, hashtag, exclamation mark. And then I'm going to jump forward a word and delete to the end of the line. There we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and give the name of the file. It's going to be uh, name is greetings.sh description prints prints text. Uh, let's see here. Given as command lines. As command line arguments. Args. Okay. Uh, date last modified. Go ahead and give today's date. January 31st, 2023. And then finally my, uh, the name of the creator, which in this case, so author is there we go. so now i'm going to go ahead and uh make my uh um i'm going to make my function name so this is how you declare a function in bash function and we'll call it hello parentheses curly brace and there we go so now that's that is our basic function stub and then below that I'm going to go ahead and echo the name. I'm going to say running script. And then uh, in order to print the name of the script, you do uh, dollar sign zero. And then I'm going to call the function uh, hello with arguments one and two. And those will be after you uh, call the uh, call the function or uh, call the script at the command line the ver the next two arguments will be stored in variables one and two okay so now inside our function hello we're going to we are going to go ahead and make two variables call it uh, we'll do first name is equal to dollar sign one that's our first argument and last name is equal to dollar sign two. Okay, now we're going to echo. Hello. And then argue um, dollar sign curly brace FN and space dollar sign curly brace LN. And those probably shouldn't be, hmm, those probably shouldn't be capitalized because that would be a, that would be a constant. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Fn, there we go. First name, Ln, there we go. And uh, I can't. Change word, first name, change word, last name. And then we're friendly, so we'll do an exclamation point. There we go. And that is that is a basic script uh, uh, working with command line arguments. Now, let's go ahead and make this script executable and then call it. We can do that all within the Vim editor. So escape, to put myself in normal mode. Uh, colon to get down to the X editor and I need to run an external command so I'm going to run change mod plus X I'm going to add an executable uh, um, uh, to this file and it's called greetings okay there we go and let's go ahead and press OK so now this file is exec now this script is executable so let's go ahead and call it so, in order to uh, to call a script, uh, we need to do uh, dot 
forward slash greetings. Oh. Hmm, I wonder if it... Let's check. Greetings, okay. Um, We could call it within Vim. I guess I had to get out of greetings first, but... So, dot, uh, dot forward slash greetings, and I'll do my name again. There we go. Running script uh, greetings dot sh. Hello, Nathan Tonning. Okay, so that was our script. So that is... That is how to uh, use command line arguments in a bash script. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Well, it took a little longer than uh, two hours to make this video. It was an extra, let's see. Oh, there we go. An extra 26 minutes. And that's what happens when you, you plan, you think you're going to make a great video, and then... Uh, it doesn't go quite the way you want it, so you try and scramble, put something together, and it just takes a little bit longer. So, anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, I'll be within the time limit tomorrow. Bye-bye.